are we doing today? You're driving me to work. You're driving me to work. This is not by choice. Well, I have a choice, but she made me an offer I can't refuse. Beautiful. All right, everyone. So I have the luxury of having Dr. Cellini drive me to work today. I mean, personal chauffeur, hashtag personal chauffeur, hashtag Uber Has, driver, hashtag. hashtag Uber driver. And then he's going to pick me up from work tonight. Woo! Party. How, how did you entice me to uh, do this whole thing? I told him this would be a great opportunity for him to see his barber one last time before we get out of NYC. And he thought that was a brilliant idea. And I'm like, yep, that's why you're married to a genius. I mean, I can't even <laughs> with you right now. Let me All right. See <laughs> so yes, she convinced me to order my haircut. And that's the reason why, well, there's only one more appointment left. So I figured, you know, we're moving out to New Jersey, hopefully next week, and I won't have access to my barber like whenever I want him. So I don't know when the next time I'm going to be up in the city to do my haircut is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Well, I have to drop her off at 1045. My appointment's not until one, but I'm gonna go find a coffee shop because I have to study again. you. Oh god. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. We'll see, see you later. We'll see you when we pick you up. In well. a little bit. Now she's finally gone. Am I right? No, I'm just kidding. So basically it is 10 a.m. right now. My hair appointment is not until 1 p.m. which means I have to go all the way uptown where my barber is. Somehow find a coffee shop and I'll probably study for like two to three hours and then get my hair cut, go back to Queens, and then come back later to pick up Andriana from work again because she has no car here. But right now, first and foremost, I'm gonna go try to find a coffee spot uptown. Okay, but real talk, you know how all that problems I had with uh, finding parking? Well, just found a parking spot in like two seconds. It's on the avenue, but nonetheless, time to go find a coffee shop. Don't really know where I'm going. I don't know how many places are have like indoor seating anymore because I haven't been a really coffee shop at all this whole year because couldn't go inside all year. So try to find one close by to the barber and uh, go from there. Time to get to studying. Oh my gosh, literally change of plans. And whoever says New Yorkers aren't nice, that's so incorrect because I just got out of my car and the lady behind me was like, you know you're gonna get a ticket if you park here. I was like, what do you mean? Because remember one of those videos I said there's alternate side parking and it changes like every street. This one, you can't park here from nine to 11. Across the street is like 11 to 12. It's like so annoying. The street back there, you can park here after 10.30, but then this street, which is one street up, you can't. So she told me, she let me know, she says you're gonna get a ticket. Nicest lady ever. She was like, it's a big ticket too. A couple hundred bucks. So she just saved me a couple hundred bucks. And people actually say New Yorkers aren't nice. Do you believe that? All right. Um, so there's a lot of time in my car today. Didn't really anticipate that, but I can't find a parking spot. Both sides of the street right now say 11 to 12.30. This is Monday through Thursday, Monday or Thursday. This is Tuesday to Friday. It's currently Friday, which means I have another hour until I can park here without getting a ticket. So what I'm going to do is just sit here for an hour and study in my car, then I can go get coffee, but it's gonna be like 30 minutes before I get my hair cut. But nonetheless, this is what I have to do. And this is why I remembered why I hate parking in New York City. And I probably sound like one of those people that's like, oh yeah, I left this city. It's garbage now that I left and all that stuff. But this is not the case. I still love it here, but this stuff like drives me insane. It just, the city just makes more of a headache for everybody involved all the time for no reason. And this is just part of it. So this is what it is. So I'll be sitting here studying. Let me get my book. I haven't even told you all why I'm studying, but uh, we're getting back to the books. More on that in a minute. So I'm at this coffee shop now, and ironically, this is the coffee shop that is now below my old apartment. I used to live in this building right here. You probably can't see it, but uh, this coffee shop wasn't here. And when I say I used to live in this building, I used to live in this building before I started residency six years ago. I started about seven years ago. And this 
coffee shop wasn't here, but if it was here, I would have been here all day. So coffee now, haircut in a second, and that'll be it. Fresh Cut has been acquired, and now I'm going to go all the way back to Queens. I'm going to do a little more studying, check out the stock markets a little bit, and I'll tell you exactly why I'm even studying, because you're probably like, I mean, you just, you're an attending now, what are you studying for? Well, you know, studying never ends, so I'll tell you why as soon as I get back to the house. So officially back home, I'm gonna go inside now, tell you exactly why I'm studying, but first, big shout out to Board Vitals and thank you for sponsoring today's video. So let's go and hit that ad first and uh, I'll tell you why I'm studying. All right, so this video is sponsored by Board Vitals. Now you may have heard my prior video on passing the core and what my thoughts were on the core examination last year when I did this video and I discussed how the hands down best resource for this exam is the Board Vitals question bank. The questions are almost identical to that on the actual core exam. The explanations of the questions are second to none. I learned so much from this QBank. I can't even recommend it enough. Even if this video wasn't sponsored, I would still tell you all that this is the best QBank far and away. That's how much I loved it. All of my colleagues who also passed the core exam felt the exact same way about this QBank. So do yourself a favor and use my code, Dr. Cellini, to get 20% off the entire Board Vitals website, with the exception of the CME gift card products. So use my code, Dr. Cellini now, get 20% off your Board Vitals radiology question bank and pass the core exam. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, so I am studying again because I recently received an email from the American Board of Radiology stating that it was time for me to schedule my board exam or my final examination to be a double board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist. So the only problem is they just sent us an email like a month ago telling us to register for the exam. And the other issue is there was only one date they gave us which was September 1st. So all of a sudden, they told us this as we were finishing fellowship, and then they're like, oh, by the way, congrats on being done, but now you have to take your board examination on the only day, September 1st. So this came out of shock to us because usually you take your board exam almost a year after being a practicing attending physician. So I should be scheduling this for like next May, but all of a sudden this year is the first time they've done this, they changed it completely, and now we have to take it on the only date offered, September 1st, and they gave us like two months notice. Now, like, honestly, whatever, right? I'll, I'll roll with the punches, do this, do what I have to do, but it comes amidst like everybody's moving, starting their new job, all this kind of stuff. So it's kind of a hassle to do this straight off the bat with no notice, but whatever. Now I have to start studying. The other issue too is we don't really know what resources to use because there aren't many resources or aren't really widely known resources to use other than Board Vitals Question Bank, which obviously I'll use because it's phenomenal, but I don't really know what to study, so I'm just using my old resources to study that I used for my core examination in radiology residency. So basically, all of a sudden, I have to start studying. Now I have about three weeks left, and hopefully everything goes smoothly because this is also not only the first time they've offered this examination as soon as you finish fellowship, but it's also the first time they've done this kind of joint test, which is diagnostic and interventional radiology subjects combined. Also, they gave a short notice that we will be taking our oral board examination in October. Just a month ago, they said, by the way, you have your written board exam and also your oral board exam coming up soon and uh, best of luck. So now that you know exactly why I have to study again, it's time to get to work. All right, studying done. It is now time to go get ready because we were going out to dinner and uh, I have to get dressed and pick up Andrana back at work in just a minute. So let me get dressed, get back in the car and head back to the city. All right, so quick little wardrobe change here. Well, not really a wardrobe change, because all I did was change my shirt, shorts, new shoes, and we are headed to pick up Andrana at work at the same place I dropped her off this morning. So uh, let's pick her up. Also, it's almost, what is it, 6.10, and it's still 86 degrees out. I think it's actually hotter, but uh, it is scorching. Look at that. 86 degrees? It's almost six, I mean, it's, the sun's going down. It's so hot. Okay, back to picking up Andrana. Hey, hon. Hey, hon. Nice shirt. 
chauffeur's here? <laughs> chauffeur's here. So, Andrana's here. The package has been picked up. We're headed out to get some sushi with some friends. And uh, that's pretty much it for this day. I didn't get as much studying done as I anticipated or I wanted to, but you know, there's always tomorrow. So, babe, you want to send us out? And we'll see you on our next <laughs> vlog. Smash the like, subscribe button, follow us on Instagram and her channel on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.